like a hell cut. Before we get started, I have a favor. If you enjoy my content and want to see me continue to improve in both quality and size, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. Any amount helps and it is greatly appreciated. There are so many rewards for each level of donation, so go check it out. Now back to the video. Hey guys, this is Matthew Little Avenger, and today a pretty big balance patch hit the PTR, uh, like a couple hours ago hit the PTR, and I'm just now getting to it, so I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded, maybe first thing tomorrow, or uh, maybe later tonight, I'm not really sure. Uh, but it requires like a longer install because this is, has a lot of uh, temporary remastering, probably dealing with what's going on at BlizzCon, but, but outside of that, let's get into it. So, Defense Matrix now regenerates a little bit faster, an increase from 12.5 to 16% per second, which is pretty massive. Uh, the delay for regeneration is from one second to now 0.75 seconds, so definitely definitely a buff to uh, D.Va to give her, us probably just to give her more tanking ability. Fitz Matrix is a horrible ability though, everybody hates it, but yeah, um, that's all for D.Va. Overall nerf for the character, I mean overall buff for the character. Up next we get Arisa, protective barrier. Reload is now 10 instead of 9. This is definitely not the rework I had in mind, but I guess it works. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm not really sure how it's going to go. Definitely a nerf though. Next is Roadhog. He now has 6 shots per clip. I actually really like this because it means I can sit and do damage for quite a lot more. Definitely a buff to Roadhog. No other changes, not not the big, making him a tank change that we expected. That will probably come in the next wave of balance patches, but it's not here quite yet. Next we get to Sigma. Sigma has quite a few changes, all definitely nerfs. Kinetic Grasp can no longer block Whip Shot and Chain Hook, which are two things that we all thought it shouldn't be able to block, but it could. So that's definitely a buff to... Uh, to Brig and Roadhog that I do quite like. A uh, Gravitic Flux. There is a now a there's a high gravity effect duration reduced from 1.2 to 9 uh, to 0 0.9 seconds. I'm not even sure what the high gravity effect is. It might be how long they're in the air. Maybe that's probably what it is. How long they're in the air? I really don't know. I don't know what the high gravity effect is talking about. Or no, it's probably the whole duration of the slam. Like, they're, they're being held to the ground for the brief period of time during the slam. I'm not sure. I really don't know what the high gravity thing is talking about. But yes, oh, we're not done. Experimental Barrier now has a, a slower regeneration from 175 to se uh, per second to uh, 150 per second. Also now has a one second cooldown after recalling it. And uh, they've reduced the initial... Uh, cast time penalty the the 0.2 second cast time thing at the beginning that prevents you from casting it immediately where you like you put your hand out then it went they removed that because they now have the uh one second cooldown which uh definitely a nerf i'm not sure how i feel about it but next we get the winston not the direction i'm going with the rework you'll of course see this video tomorrow maybe maybe later i'm not sure when Depends when I finish editing it, honestly, as <laughs> whenever you guys see it. But uh, the duration of his shield is increased from 6 seconds to 9 seconds, and the health is also increased from 600 to 700. I think this, they are now trying to push him into the main tank uh, subcategory, which, I mean, I don't have a problem with them doing that. I think it's actually a great change. Um, the person I watched, uh, Stylosa, he missed, the, I, I think he missed this Baptiste change. That's what's next. Uh, Baptiste. His immortality field now has 200 health instead of 250 health. So it's uh, easier to destroy. So it's easier for Farah to still burst through it. Um, even whenever she... Uh, yeah, she can now burst through it even when uh, she's ulting and it's there in her way. So that's, that's a good thing. With Lucio, this is probably my favorite change in this patch. Uh, crossfade. Speed boost increased from 20% to 25%. They are... Slowly but surely returning his speed boost that he could provide to teammates, which I really like um, Definitely one of my favorite changes uh, my least favorite changes be that happened because of goats and now uh, my favorite change since they're returning back to what he originally used to do uh, So yeah, 
That's that change, then uh, amp it up. Um, speed boost amplification from 50 to 60. 50% to 60%. So it's just an overall increase to the speed that he can give off to his teammates. And then wall ride, his speed boost while wall riding is reduced from 40% uh, percent to 30%. Just making him slower whenever he jumps off the walls and stuff like that. So yeah, overall, buffs to Lucio. I definitely really like it. Uh, once we get back, we'll get to Mercy. I can't get there. We'll get to Mercy. Um, there's no way of showing that here, but Valkyrie uh, will now... The, the additional beams created will now ignore barriers. Yet another way for it to... For experimental bear... I mean, uh, uh, the experimental barrier, protective barrier meta that's going on. Another way for people to uh, counter that with uh, the healer. So Mercy can now just avoid it entirely with uh, Valkyrie, which I really like. I like that they are doing some countering to shields. Pretty good. Still think they should like add anti-shield abilities. That would be really good. Uh, with Moira, Biotic Grasp now uh, changes the, reduces the healing while uh, doing damage. While you're doing damage, it reduces the healing per second from 30 to 20, which is actually pretty big. That's a total reduce of 30%. Uh, oh my gosh, phone, can you stop? A total reduce of 30% uh, self-healing, which is actually quite massive. Next we get to Doomfist. Doomfist change is um, Rocket Punch. The time it takes to reach match charge is from 1 second to 1.4 seconds. Which uh, means you just have a little bit more time to, uh, well, prepare yourself to be punched into a wall. And uh, now the best defense... Shields gained uh, per hit are reduced from 35 to 30. So per enemy that you hit, it's reduced by uh, 5. Which is pretty good. I, I think it's pretty good. I think I don't think they should have made this change right now. Because Doomfist is a really good help in dealing with the double barrier meta. I think they're just kind of ignoring the problem a little bit. But, yeah. Now, Translocator is an interesting change. I have... In the video, you'll see I have suggested a change for uh, several of the heroes that involves a Torbjorn-like cooldown to their uh, place ability. And so with Sombra, the cooldown uh, of Translocator is increased from 4 to 6 seconds, and the cooldown now begins immediately upon deploying the beacon or when it is destroyed by enemies. So if it's destroyed by enemy, she can no longer use it. Uh, and it resets the cooldown. Of course you can't no longer use it, but it resets the cooldown. But this does add for something interesting. Since the cooldown starts upon placing it, it will now allow you, I'm gonna kill this guy, it will now allow you to teleport and then teleport again. Actually a really powerful thing. Um, I do quite like this. Not, that, not exactly the suggestion I had, but I'll probably add that to my suggestion for the Sombra video, or for the, uh, for the, like, offense characters, whenever I do that reworking Overwatch video. Um, next we are gonna be getting to Symmetra. And so Symmetra, the Photon Barrier, duration has been decreased from 15 seconds to 12 seconds. Definitely good, and the health has been reduced from 5,000 to 4,000. Definitely a massive nerf. Um, the damage... That's the wrong ability. The damage uh, per second from her turrets has been reduced from 50 damage to 40 damage, which I think that's uh, a great thing. And then the photon projector, the uh, impact from the primary fire now has a louder sound uh, for the enemies whenever they're being affected by it. So of course you have better knowledge of whenever you're actually being attacked. Which is a good. So we'll see. And now only last 12 seconds and has 4,000 health. So that's a, a really good thing. I really like that change. And we actually get another change to the unchangeable Tracer. Uh, this is the final actual change inside of bug fixes. Her fall off. Like the, the range of her fall off has been. Um, was 13 meters. But now it is 30 meters. So fall off begins at 30 meters instead of at 15. Or 13. Which is actually crazy it means that like she can just murder people from a distance she's literally an assassin character like she is now an actual assassin hero in overwatch because she just assassinates people from a range pretty good uh yeah 
So outside of that, the bug fixes are uh, specific to heroes, uh, like a line of sight change with uh, inspiration and uh, uh, inspiration, inspire and rally, uh, just making it to where like your line of sight, who's messing with it really weird. Uh, Doomfist bug that allowed them to meteor strike right before Sigma yanked them to the ground with Gravitic Flux has been fixed. Um, Gravitic Flux now can no longer ignore a line of sight. Uh, MP had a bug where it was affected by the pitch of the player's aim. That's no longer there. And a bug fix with Winston that caused his, projected, his barrier projector to uh, not consistently play its destroyed visual effect. So, those are all the changes. Uh, this is not as big as the first one. I am still kind of waiting for the one that has like the changes to make Roadhog a tank, uh, like an actual tank and other stuff like that. Uh, once those get here, I'll definitely try to be the first one to update you guys on that. But besides that, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next one. This is Matt, the Evil Avenger. Peace out.